action on the city's north side near a school has parents worried, especially now that school is about to start again. Madeline O'Neill is at the intersection of Packers and Schlingen Avenues with what changes the city is making and what parents are still hoping for. Maddie? Danica and Eric, I was standing here about a year ago talking about the changes pedestrians were hoping for at this intersection. As of today, these white markings in the crosswalk are new. The aim is to grab drivers' attention, cars that are often speeding past here. A traffic engineer says the flashing pedestrian lights here often do stop drivers about 80% of the time. But with a school right nearby, parents are hoping for more. With cars speeding by. It's like scary. I guess they didn't know when it was going to be that busy. Navigating across the street can be tricky. It's very nerve wracking, especially with kids. Brad Horn's daughters go to Isthmus Montessori Academy, a school off Packers Avenue. Drivers might not notice. Because they're going so fast and they have so little time to see you and react to you. Horn says even with flashing pedestrian lights, cars don't always stop. A car stopped for us and didn't notice us until the last second, slammed on their brakes, and then the car behind them rear-ended them. It's really dangerous. Justin Masuga saw the same thing happen with the tow truck. We were like, uh, that was terrible. Masuga has precious cargo. He and his daughter, also a student at the nearby school, cross here often. I don't want that to be me. <laughs> I don't want that to be somebody else that's like crossing the road with their kids. With school starting again, Masuga has turned to city officials for change. I'm using this now. I want to make sure this is safe. According to engineering officials, the city has put significant resources into improving this intersection since last fall. Best case scenario, a stoplight. A city traffic engineer tells us while the intersection isn't approved for a stoplight, putting in the new high visibility crosswalk markings was a priority. I just emailed them the other day and then they were like, oh, we got those in now. It's like, okay, good. Masuga says it's a step in the right direction, but hopes officials will do more down the road. There's a school right there. I'd like to see this designated school zone. Oh, uh, that would make all the difference in the world. A traffic engineer says even though the nearby school isn't a public school, they're looking into making this area an official school zone, which would mean lower speed limits. They're also planning to ask Madison police to increase enforcement here on Packers Avenue. Now, the main message from the traffic engineer tonight is slow down around schools, especially as the school year gets off to, to a start. Eric and Danica. All right, Maddie, thank you so much. Two